The Challenge of the Yukon. And King, and you husky! <laughs> the Wonder Dog King, swiftest and strongest of Eskimo lead dogs, blazes the trail through storm and snow for Sergeant Preston as he meets the Challenge of the Yukon. <laughs> Sergeant Preston was typical of the small band of Northwest Mounted Police, who preserve law and order in the new Northwest country, where the greed for wealth and power led to frequent violence and bloodshed. But in spite of the odds against them, Sergeant Preston and his wonder dog king met that challenge, and justice ruled triumphant. <laughs> darkness of winter in the Yukon closed over the small cabin of Constable Higgins in the town of Whitehorse. Higgins, a worried frown on his face, looked anxiously at his wife, who lay on a cot in the corner. It's, uh, it's time for your medicine, Mary. Doctor said every two hours. All right, Jim. Mm. You uh, feeling any better? Uh, I guess the fever's gone down some. Well, here's the medicine. And some water. Thank you. Now, uh, maybe you can sleep. You need it. Howdy. You, uh, Constable Higgins? Uh, yes. Come in. I can't come in. I'm Corporal Wilson, Northwest Mount Police. I have two prisoners here that I'd like to put in your custody for the night. Well, I'll be right with you, Corporal. I'll wait out here. <clears throat> I've got to go down to the jail, Mary. Think you'll be all right by yourself? Sure, Jim. Bundle up. It's a bad night. Oh, no, I won't be long. Some prisoners have to be locked up for the night. Take the lantern, Jim. All right. Corporal. Which way, Constable? Uh, straight ahead to the end of the street. You, LaRue, and you, Jackson, walk ahead of us. All right. Uh, I'm ready. I'm dead for sleep. Came all the way from Briggs Gap in three days. From Briggs Gap? Well, that don't sound possible. Well, LaRue and Jackson got to sleep, but I had to guard them. Well, we'll lock them up while you rest. They're tough customers. They'll need guarding. Is uh, Sergeant Preston in town? Well, I'm expecting him. He usually stays with us when he comes through here. I'd like to see him while I'm in his territory. We're old friends, you know. Well, if he comes in tonight, I'll tell him that you're here. Yeah, this is it, Corporal. All right, you two. Get in there. Yeah, well, this ain't much of a cell in here, but it's good and strong. In you go. Uh, this is the first time I felt free in three days. Now, Corporal, you just go over to Bill's tavern. He'll give you a good bed. Jackson and LaRue are the meanest pair I've ever handled. Tricky, vicious, I'll violent. watch them. Well, thank you, Constable. I'll go and get some sleep. Uh, good night, Wilson. Good night. I'll uh, light the fire in the stove, boy. Never mind the fire. We're starving. We have nothing hot for a long time. So key. Well, if you'd rather eat than get warm, I'll get some food for you. Sure wouldn't like it. You can't let us starve. No, you're right. I'll run over to the house and bring you something. Baru, we... We gotta get out of here. This is the first time we've been out of that Mountie site. We better make the best of it. We, oui. anything you say, Pete. We're breaking out the same way we did in British Columbia. When he passes the to the bars, I grab his hands and you grab his throat. Some hot tea. I am starving. Uh, here you are. There, I got him. Come on. Hey, go on. Get him, Lou. I've pulled him close enough. If I can reach his throat. Ah. 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 Ah.
Shut him! Uh, 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 all right, LaRue. Uh, now you can get them keys. They're on his belt. Here, I have them. You can let him go. Uh, get the old man's gun, LaRue. And crack him over the head with it so he'll stay out for a while. You are going to put out the light? I'm going to take the oil out of this lantern and set the place on fire. The whole town will be fighting it. We can get away. If we're lucky, they'll think we was burned and they won't start chasing us until it's too late to catch us. But he's man. He's unconscious. Fine. He won't even know what's happening to him. We'll go to his cabin and get some food. Shortly after Jim Higgins left his cabin with food for the prisoners, Sergeant Preston drove up with his dog team. Ho, King! Ho, you husky! It's Sergeant Preston, Mrs. Higgins. Come in, Sergeant. Sorry, I can't get up. I've been sick for two days. Oh. Well, I shouldn't have disturbed you. Oh, you didn't. We're always glad to see you. We were expecting you for the night. I won't plan to stay here if you're ill. My sergeant, you're just like our son. You are no trouble. The back room is empty and ready for you. Where's Jim? Uh, he's down at the jail. Some prisoners were brought in. Guess he'll be back soon. Oh, I brought a package over from Bickford for Dave Shaver at the cafe. I guess I'll go over now and give it to him and stop by at the jail afterwards. Well, now, you come back with him, won't you? Yes. Now leave my dog team here and unpack when I get back with Jim. Come on, boy. You come with me. Jackson and LaRue circled the town to get to Jim Higgins' cabin at the end of the street. As they crept toward it in the darkness, one of the huskies hitched to Preston's sled, raised his head, and barked. Listen, there's dogs in front of this cabin. Can you see in the window? We. Oui. Is there anybody there? Nobody's there but the woman. Wait, I'm going to have a look in front. What? LaRue! We. Oui? Look, it's a dog sled all packed and nobody <laughs> with it. Yeah, maybe we don't have to rob these cabins. Come on, we're taking that sled. Listen, someone spotted the fire. Come on, we're getting out of here. Come on, King. Has anyone seen Jim Higgins? He ain't around here. Anybody seen Jim Higgins? No, he ain't out here. Jim Higgins is in jail. Come on, King. We're going in after him. Find him, boy. There's smoke. <coughs> Find him, King. I can't see. You got him, King? All right, boy. Out. I'll bring him. There he is. I got him. Hey. We'll take him over to your cabin, Ned. How is he, Sergeant? He's had a bad crack in the head. Falling timber must have hit him. Yeah. I think he's regaining consciousness. Jim. Jim, can you talk to me? Get him. Prisoners. He's worried about the men he had locked up. They didn't have a chance. You mean there was men in that jail? Yes. The whole cell was a roaring inferno. No! No! Your Sergeant President... Oh, hello, Preston. Oh, Corporal Wilson. I didn't know you were in town. Well, those were my prisoners in that jail. What happened to them? I'm afraid they're dead, Wilson. Burned to dead. Burned to death? <sighs> no. They're gone. What's he trying to say? Uh, what is it, Jim? What did you say? Prisoners escaped. Escaped? Sergeant, that's what's happened. They got out and set fire to the jail. Dead. Yeah? <clears throat> Take care of Jim. He'll be all right. Just keep him quiet. All right, Sergeant. Now, come on, Wilson. My dog team is ready, and we can't lose any time. Come on, kid. (laughs) 
Go on ahead, King. Get the dogs ready. Go on, boy. I never should have left them in that jail without me. I should have known they'd fooled the old constable. Don't worry, Wilson. There's a blizzard coming up, and they won't get far without a dog team and food. There'll be tracks around the jail, too. My dog will have us on their trail in no time. Yeah, what's the matter with King? Oh, he's gone past the Higgins cabin. He's going out on the trail. King, come back here. Here, fella, come back. Why? Why, the team is gone. Gone? Do you think that they've they sto- stolen my dog team? Preston will never hear the end of this from headquarters. Two prisoners escaped from me and steal your dog team. I'm sorry, Preston. It's all my fault. No, they haven't much of a start, and there's a blizzard coming up. Come on, Wilson. We'll carry our packs and get after them right away. That's King's team, and taking it may be the worst mistake they could have made. Are you sure that dog of yours can follow this trail? King knows his business, and he knows what he's looking for. He'd have got him by now if he didn't have to wait for us. Look, he's going that way. Yes, my team is used to a lead dog. They may get off the trail without him. It's hard to keep any sense of direction in this blizzard. Can't see ten feet ahead. Wilson, I have a plan. We're staying right here. But they'll get too far away. King, come here, boy. King, get the dogs, boy. Go get them and bring them here to me. Get the dogs, fella. And bring them back. The Arctic night was black and cold as Jackson and LaRue urged the dog team on desperately. The wind blew flecks of ice into their faces as they bent against it. But Jackson, I swear we have gone off the trail. This snow, it gets deeper. I think we should stop. We gotta keep going. That dog up in front don't know what he's doing. Did, did you hear something? Listen. Sounds like a dog. Hey, look at that team. They're heading around the circle. Gee, get back there. It's coming awful fast. I don't know which way we were headed, do you? I am complete lost. Uh, look, it's a great big dog. Look at him nipping at their heels and turning them. They know him. It must be their lead dog. He has followed them here. And all alone. Nobody with him, that's sure. Maybe he can get us back on the trail. Find the trail, you husky. Look, he knows what I said. He's getting out in front. Preston and Wilson waited back on the trail, hidden behind a huge drift of snow, stamping their feet to keep warm. As the hours dragged by, Wilson grew skeptical. I don't believe you do it, Preston. It doesn't sound possible that he can understand you. Ah, oh, patience, fella. King always obeys orders. Listen, that's King now. Get down here behind this drift. Have you done, Liddy? These men are desperate. Get ready, we'll surprise them. You take the one in the handlebars. I'll get the other one. Now, put up your hands. You're under arrest. All right, LaRoe, up with them. This time I'll shoot at your slightest move. How did you know? Where did you come from? All right, I give up. Two mountains. Get the handcuffs on him, Wilson. We're taking both of you back. Good work, King. I've heard about that dog of yours, but I had to see it to believe it. There. We're ready to go. All right, march ahead, you two. On, King! On, you husky! These copyrighted dramas originate in the studios of WXYZ Detroit, and all characters, names, places, and incidents used are fictitious. They are sent to you each week at the same time and reach you from our transcription studios. Al Neal speaking. This is the Michigan Radio Network.